Hi there folks, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm here today to talk about something that's semi-exclusive. It's been in the pipeline for several months. It's a collaboration between uh, us here at SUS and Matt up at World of Ukes in the north of England. I don't know why I'm pointing up there, he's not upstairs. He's in the north of England. Uh, another ukulele dealer many of you will already know. So Matt and I were talking one day, as we often do, and um, discussing the gaps in the market and how hard it's been in 2020 to get baritone ukuleles or six string eight strings just anything other than standard soprano concert and tenors just weren't being manufactured because they exist just on that level below the top tier of popular instruments baritone ukuleles will always have a market and an audience but there will always be fewer people searching for them at any one time than say a tenor so baritone ukuleles which have always suffered choice wise you don't really get much choice other than Carla Ohana Cordoba kind of up to uh, up to about 400 pound and then there's a massive gap and then you've got the high-end Kanalea Kamakas but n not really anything in the middle so Matt who has done a lot of work with Uluru in the past uh, broached the subject of Uluru on our behalf and between us we decided to uh, spec up this range of two ukuleles so these two baritone ukes the Huahana, which is Hawaiian for partnership or collaboration, uh, series of baritone ukuleles. And I'm really excited to show them off to you today. Hopefully I didn't scare you away with my long intro there. So we decided to go for two schools of the baritone ukulele here. You've got the players that want their baritone ukulele to sound a bit like a classical guitar, have some snap, some attack, some, uh, some depth, but also just that ukulele warmth that you need. So you've got the spruce top model. But those that want the tropical Hawaiian, deeper, richer, more laid back sound, you have this really gorgeous acacia model with a cutaway. And uh, if you're wondering why the acacia model is the one with the cutaway, I'll explain. If you look at our website or the World of Ukes website at any one time, you'll notice that manufacturers are a bit lazy and a bit predictable. They almost always choose the spruce top model or the cedar top model to have a cutaway because that's what the guitar industry does. But you see much fewer options um, in acacia, koa, exotic woods. So we're going to focus here on the Huahana uh, acacia model first. This is all solid acacia. This one's really nice and figured as well with maple bindings on the front back really love the maple binding it's a nice figured maple you can see it there hopefully in the light a maple rosette with a mahogany neck ebony fingerboard and bridge uluru's very unique headstock shape with those snakewood tuners and the closed back uh, gear tuners you have a more narrow 35 mil nut so much more um, akin to a pono than say uh, a canalea so it has more of a familiar feel to those of you that play your average tenor or your average concert and the scale length is 20.15 inches instead of 20.75 inches which doesn't sound like much but when you feel and play these ukuleles they have a bit more um, they have a bit more to them because the string tension isn't isn't quite as high. You can always remedy that with some tighter strings, but I think this this uh, scale length is just absolutely perfect for what we wanted to achieve here, which is a, a very Hawaiian sounding baritone with uh, you know some unique features whilst remaining under a thousand pound. Yeah, I'm smitten with this model. I think that the acacia just looks gorgeous. I uh, hope it comes across properly on camera. But uh, I'm going to give this first model a play and see what you guys think.
Okay, now on to the second ukulele in the Hohana Baritone Ukulele series. This one is Sitka Spruce Top with Oven Coal back and sides. All solid wood once again. The spruce and Oven Coal simulate that uh, classic pairing of spruce and rosewood, you know, something that has projection. You would call it a cannon. It's louder than the Acacia, Acacia model. It's got a quicker release on the notes but the notes are sparkly they're a bit jangly if you play in a group and you're going to be the one on the baritone this is the ukulele that's going to cut through and not sound too muddy and too deep uh, you have much of the same features as the other this is the curly maple front and back binding with the ebony fingerboard and bridge the 35 mil nut width Uluru's super unique headstock with those snakewood buttons and yeah just another great ukulele at filling the market filling the gap in the market if you've looked at ponos in the past but wished you had a bit more choice if you've looked at the anaoles but wished you had just another option that was a bit more factory finished i think uluru have got you covered now once again this model has a 20.15 inch scale so just a touch shorter you're talking half an inch shorter than your average Carla or Pono baritone uh, and the feel is it's slinky it's nice and comfortable it's not too resistant if you wanted to tune it GCEA you could but the DGB strings sound fantastic so let's give it a play and see what you think There you have it guys and girls, an introduction to the Uluru Hohana Ukulele series. Uh, starting with these baritones right here, which was your favourite? Do you prefer the snappiness of the spruce or that more relaxed Hawaiian sound of the acacia? Let us know in the comments and if you have any questions please do get in touch. You can email us at alex at ukulele.co.uk or you can call me in store on 01202 430820. Uh, this is the first two delivered, but uh, Matt also has two in stock as of the time of filming this video. And we will be uh, restocking these throughout 2021. So, yeah, if you miss out on the first batch, please do keep an eye out on the website or get in touch. Have a great day, folks. Thanks for watching.